Hi FlossTube, good morning, it is Helen D. Uh, today is Tuesday, August 3rd. I don't know what happened to July, but we're already in August. Um, it's been busy, it's been a busy summer. I think especially, at least for myself, last summer we did like nothing. So this summer, even if you're even doing a little bit of things, it feels, it feels busy again. Um, what have we been doing? So we got back from vacation from our last video. Then we did tennis and D&D &D and regular stuff. Um, that was really it last week. Oh, last week was appointments. I had a dentist appointment. My son had an eye appointment. Um, the appointment was appointment week. I think he had a haircut, appointment week. Um, this week, he's at camp. This is his one week of camp. It's a day camp. Um, it's like an ecology science camp right in town and we had signed up last year and he was excited and then it got canceled so we signed up again this year and I think he was kind of like he was kind of meh which is 11 year old boy he was meh about it um, and I dropped him off yesterday and I picked him up and originally he had wanted me to pick him up early Tuesday and Thursday so he wouldn't be late for tennis and then last night when I picked him up, it was, oh, I don't know if I'm even gonna be able to do tennis. My legs hurt so much. We did so much walking. And then later it was, I don't really wanna leave early because there was fun stuff and I don't wanna miss the fun stuff. And can I go again next year? And when can I do the counselor and training program? And so he's all in, as we knew he would be. <laughs> um, so he's there. Uh, my husband is still working from home, but other than that, I'm kind of by myself this week. If I ignore John and he ignores me, I'm by myself this week. Uh, it's kind of deep clean week because my mother-in-law comes the week after next. So I thought while he's at camp, I'll get a few things done. I started yesterday and I felt like I wasn't doing much because I, I just wanted to play in the craft room. But the craft room was a disaster. So. Like John said, no, you're doing stuff. It looked pretty bad in here. Um, you can now see the top of the ironing board, so that's, that's something. Um, so I started with the fun room. Today I cleaned the shower, and I dyed my hair, so there's something. I hadn't done that all summer because it just takes a long time. It takes a long time, which parents know, hard to come by in the summer. So that's all we've been up to. Uh, I did, after our last video, our last chat, um, my stitch group got together and it's been, it hasn't been the full group because we have to get together in my garage because my son isn't vaccinated yet. So we're not in the house. Um, so we've been getting together in the garage and, um, Pam from Stitching in the Land of Good Enough had said in one of her videos that she was going to be camping in Maine. So I had reached out and asked where, uh, and she was going to Freeport, which is not far from my house. So I was hoping to get together with her while she was here. And then I got a message from Lynette, homesteading on the home front. She was gonna be in town the same weekend. So I asked my group, I said, well, can we do this? Can we do whatever that Saturday was? And if we do a little later in the day, they think they can come over. So we met later in the day and both Pam and Lynette were able to come stitch with us. So that was awesome. I still don't mind my classy garage. <laughs> I swept the chip crumbs out from the boys D&D game. Um, so that was really cool to meet. I hadn't met Pam before. She's so sweet. Um, and I have met Lynette and it's always fun. Uh, Lynette brings the party. So <laughs> Lynette came and got the party started. Um, so it was nice to stitch with them. Uh, what else before I show you stuff? Oh, I had news. I had news and I was finally able to share on Instagram this week. Um, we're going to have a little story before we get into any stitching, I guess, today. So, beginning of the year, back in January, I had met my sister Donna to go shopping at Michael's. And she had um, an issue of just cross-stitch that she's like, oh, I'm done with this one if you want it. So she passed it on. And I was flipping through it, and it had an ad for their um, Christmas ornament contest. And I know um, Amanda May from Artith Designs. That's the first I kind of heard of that contest was when she won a couple years ago. It was a couple years ago. So, you know, I thought, well, that would, that would be fun. I don't know if I can do that. I've never designed anything. 
And then I thought about it and I thought about it and I thought, well, how cool would it be? It's like a win-win situation. You, des you design something and maybe you're one of the winners. There are six winners. And then you get to see your design in a magazine, which I think would be awesome. And even if you don't win, then you have an ornament on your tree that you designed. Win-win. So I came up with a little idea and I entered um, and I'm one of the winners. So it was really exciting. Uh, it will be in not the Christmas ornament issue. The six winners designs will be in the December issue. I think they said it comes out at the end of October. I can't, I can't show you yet. I don't even have it because they still have it. <laughs> um, so that will be out at the end of October. Designing that chart was kind of what got me started doing the freebies that I've done this year. So after that one, then I did St. Patrick's Day and Easter, 4th of July, and the little summer chart, um, which is right there. Boop. Um, so it's cool. I'm excited for you guys to see it. It's very simple. It was, it was design number one. <laughs> they progressed. So we'll see. Um, so that was exciting. And thank you to everyone who said congratulations when I posted it on Instagram. I really appreciate it. Um, okay, we will move on to stitching. Last we met, I was stitching all the berries from Erica Michaels. I still am stitching all the berries from Erica Michaels. However, I finally went back to my stitch alongs and I have a, I have a big finish, big finish. I finally finished Gamer. So here it is. I hope you can't just see through it. Um, so this is the Pixels That Made Us by Pick Stitch. It was a stitch along. I can't see you guys. It started in March, beginning of March, and each letter was four releases. 206 floss colors. <laughs> um, I stitched mine on 16 count Alchemy from Picture This Plus. Had I seen the whole chart at the beginning and the floss list and all the color changes, it would have been hard pressed for me to do it. But because I kind of got into it when it started and then like every week was more and more and more colors. Um, doing it that way was manageable for me. I kept up except the very end when we were on vacation. That's the week the last release came out and I couldn't bring all those flosses on vacation. So I was one week behind. Um, so we have the Nintendo Entertainment System, Game Boy, arcade games, Sega, and Super Nintendo. What are my favorites, you ask? Angry Mike Ditka, who is not actually Angry Mike Ditka. Um, Yoshi is in there. He's up here. I love Chester, Chester Cheetah down there. The 7-Up spot is in here. I just love that there's some characters that, like there's a couple Mega Mans and Mario's and Mickey Mouse and Kirby. Like there's some you know and then, and you gotta fill this whole thing, there are some more kind of, not fringe, but like the 7-Up spot had a video game. Yes, he did. So did the Pringles man apparently, but he didn't make the cut. Um, so that is done. Um, I'll get that one framed put on the nerd wall eventually. <laughs> we'll see. So that is by Pick Stitch, and it was a fundraiser chart for the organization Child's Play. So you would make a donation to Child's Play and then email Justin at Pick Stitch like your receipt and he would email you the chart week to week. Now that it's done, I'm not entirely sure. I should have reached out to him before I filmed how they're doing it. Um, but I will put a link down below to all of Pick Stitch's information so that if you're interested, you can reach out to Justin and see, is it still a charity chart? You just make a donation and he sends you the whole file. Um, so if you wanna tackle, get your floss box ready. <laughs> so that was my big finish. I also have two little finishes. Um, I have two berries. I'm still obsessed with the berries. 
I haven't had a chance to finish anything. First of all, that desk in the craft room was a, was a disaster, so I wouldn't have been able to anyway. Um, but I just haven't had any free me time. Um, I will do a berry tutorial the next time I do some finishing, so stitch them up and then we'll do a tutorial and put them together at a later date. Probably, honestly, probably September because August is gonna be busy. So last video, I was almost done Yikes Berry. So I finished that. This one is on the called for fabric because I had, I've had this chart for a while and way back when Picture This Plus was still doing their own like Christmas in July sale, they're, they no longer do retail sales. I believe it's through Rogue Stitching. Um, they had like a fat eighth sale where they were selling off some fat eighth and they happen to have, this is an 18, but it was that color. It's picture this plus jewel. So I picked one up knowing someday I would get to this. Um, so that is done with the called for colors. And then I, I was stitching away and I wanted, I needed to do more berries. So this one is still in, I, I lost the plastic on the last one, but this one is still in its plastic. This is Hollyberry. And this one I did on 32 count, I believe it's Light Mint Lugana. And it called for two different reds, but I ended up just using one because I liked the brightness of it. So that one is done. And it's really a pinky red. Um, Strawberry Fields from Weeks. So those two are done. And that is my finishes. And then I have some whips. But before I talk whips, I want to talk one more berry. And I should have mentioned this last video and I just completely forgot. So this berry here, a lot of people have commented and said, oh, I've never done a berry. I'm, I'm intimidated by them or I really want to try one. Um, if you want to try a berry, but you don't want to buy a chart just yet, like you want to try one first, this is what I, this is how I did it. This right here, it says stay home and stitch 2020. Um, Linda Stoltz, who is the designer behind Erica Michaels, she released this chart in 2020 as part of Be Well and Stitch. So this is a free chart. Um, it's on her website. So if you go to her website and you go to designs in the menu, and then it says the berry collection and you go down there, I don't know, about a quarter of the way down, a third of the way down, it's called, um, it's not called Be Well and Stitch. I gotta look it up. It is called, Have a Heart. So it's the Have a Heart Berry. And there was a, like a, not a sampler, but a larger chart too. Um, I stitched mine on Ada. This is a 16 count tan <laughs> Ada. Um, I've gotten better about the tops, like attaching them. This one I did all wrong. Um, but if you want to try one and she has a template and everything, um, this is free and easy way to try a berry. So um, I'll put a link to that in the description so that you don't have, you can just click there and not have to follow all my weird directions. So whips, I'm still working on my stitch alongs because I was behind. So the other two I have going are Tiny Modernist Zodiac. I'm now two months behind on that one. So <laughs> Maybe in August I can get caught up. And like I've said before, every month they get bigger. <laughs> so I'm two months behind and they're two big ones. Uh, and then Satsuma Street, Wizard of Oz. That's the one I'm, I'm close. I'm close on this one. So this one right here, which I'm not gonna take it out because I'm gonna be working on this today and you'll see it hopefully next video. This block, I had barely started before we left. So I finished this block, and then this one here with the wizard, his giant balloon, um, is the last. So I finished this, and I had this rainbow to do, and now I'm working on this block, and this one is done. This is on 14 count Picture This Plus Ariel, which white does not show up great on, but the clouds in here are backstitched, so no problems. 
uh, my car project I remembered to bring in. This is Hello Summer by Primrose Cottage. I'm doing this on a white. Um, I think it's a 28 Lugana white. So it says Hello and then Summer is in Popsicles. I'm on that M. Um, I fill this in at tennis. So I'm plugging away on that one. I wouldn't have time to finish anything for this summer anyway, so I might as well just wait until next summer. And then I had another new berry start. Um, Fall Bounty Berry. And this one is cool on the back. She even gives you like her leaf templates. So I think this is platinum. I'm not sure. There's my little squirrel. I, I have a mix of called for and what I had. I know the squirrel I lightened because the called for color was really dark. And even in the picture, he's not quite that dark. So this one does have some over one. Um, it has, it says red, orange, gold, and something else on it. And those words are over one. You could um, backstitch them if you were doing it on Ada and you didn't want to do it that way. So that's what I've been stitching. Um, we'll do giveaways and then I have bought a few things to share. Um, so giveaways. Spelling is hard. <laughs> Apparently I can think the word checks. I can look at the word checks. But I can't say the word <laughs> checks and spell it properly. Um, spelling is not one of my strong suits on a good day. Um, my mom will tell you I haven't been able to spell since second grade. She says they wanted you to spell phonetically and that was the end of you because you can't spell anything right. I said I know but I'm an excellent spell checker. Like if I write something I know that my spelling is atrocious. <laughs> So I always remember to spell check, always. Um, but I can't spell check what I'm saying. So I made sure when I looked for videos that I did both the appropriate spelling of checks and whatever weird spelling I had. <laughs> so what I'm talking about is the three pieces of checkered fabric that Penny from the dailystitcher.com um, gave me to do as giveaways. These are half yard cuts. So I'm going to just stick them in envelopes and you get what you get. Uh, so the winners for those were uh, Heidi Lanick, Michelle Chapman, and Lisa Cicchetti. Good thing I'm looking at it to spell Lisa. C I C C. H-E-T-T-I. Uh, I've already commented on your comments, so give me your email, your mailing addresses and I'll get those in the mail. Um, and thank you, Penny, for sending those along. And then we also had two giveaways from Carla at Cobweb Corner. Um, Wicked Stitcher Society is going to Michelle Solberg. Two Michelles. And the truck is going to Teresa Butler. So again, I've commented on comments, so get back to me and I will get those out. And then I hadn't heard from Wendy, but I just did this morning. So that was last week's last videos. Um, and thank you, a huge thank you to Carla for always sending along giveaways as well. Um, I have some more from her in the mail coming, so. Today, we will do a couple giveaways, um, little charts that, this one, I wanna make sure there's a chart in there. It doesn't look like there is. It's just folded weird, yeah. Um, some viewers had sent in for me to pass along. So, we have two little house charts. Um, if you're interested in apples, say apples. And gingerbread, say gingerbread. Uh, please be over 18 so you can legally give me your address. I would appreciate it if you're a subscriber and don't say giveaway or enter or any of those those words. And we'll do that. <clears throat> All right. 
purchases. Couple things. Um, I placed an order. I've placed an order with Penny at the Daily Stitcher and with Carla at Cobble Corner. Uh, and I'm still waiting on my one, two, three orders to come in. All my little fabric bits. Um, I got the Halloween issue from Penny. Um, there's some cute stuff in here. I think I had two favorites, which I probably won't be able to really show you. These little cats. This is actually Lindy Stitches. And then there's an owl in here that's so cool from Autumn Mountain. Not Autumn Mountain. Autumn Lane Stitchery. Oh, it was one page before where my finger was. This one's full coverage. It would, would take a while. So, but he's really cool. So I got that. <clears throat> and I picked up Fright This Way. Um, there's two more of these coming out. She said at Expo. She has two more sets of three. And Jack Will Lantern Jubilee. Actually, my two favorite are these two. So there's those. And then um, when we got back, I was thinking, I always like to do an ornament for my son for Christmas. And last year I did a chipmunk because he has his chipmunk friend that lives outside. Um, but I thought, well, this year it might be cool to do something with a penguin on it from our zoo experience. So I was looking at different penguin charts and there was one in an old Just Cross Stitch Christmas edition, um, but it was big. And I kind of like my ornaments to be a little on the smaller side. And then I found these guys. So this is from the Prairie Schooler 2x2-2. Two two, two. Um, and Carla had this one and the first one. So I thought I could do the penguins more for him, but I could just do some of the different animals. Like I won't do the ark, I couldn't think. But I really like the elephant and the giraffe and the zebras. Um, and then on this one, the penguins, the flamingos, which were one of my favorites. Um, there they are. I just want to say the lions, the kangaroos. Um, so there's a lot of different of the different animals that we saw. And they're, these are really small, which is perfect. They're like 40 by 40 max. So I picked that up. And then the other thing, um, Joanne's had a free shipping, I don't know, last week. Um, so I grabbed a couple things for berry finishing. Um, I got some of the pearlized pins, which I could have gotten these in store, but I was putting an order in anyway. So I got red and this one has a bunch of colors and she uses these as like berries. Like if you had a Christmas one and you want to put a green leaf and these are like the cranberries or the mistletoe or whatever, you just stick them in easy peasy. And then the other thing I grabbed was this bag of buttons, favorite findings, and they're snowflakes, but some of them are, like that one right there is the biggest, they're good size, and I like that they have the holes in them, the buttonholes. I have some other berries, but they don't have buttonholes, so you kind of have to sew over some of the different little sections, um, but I really liked these. So these, you know, it was like half off and free shipping, so it was like three bucks for this bag, and there are, several of the larger ones. She's coming for my water. Emmy's over here. Yes, she found it. Cat water. Um, and then the little ones I could use like on different finishes. So I thought that was perfect and just wanted to kind of show you if anyone was interested. That is all. Um, plans. I want to finish Oz. I should start Zodiac, although to be perfectly honest with you, that one is not calling me. Um, so we'll see. And then I went through my whips last night and I think I'm down to 14 or 15. I would love to be under 10 at the beginning of the new year. Um, so I might go through and try and finish some whips or reevaluate some whips and see if there's something I want to keep around. Um, I've, I've UFO'd a few things this year. 
kicking my berry on the floor. Um, <laughs> she's trouble, this one. So we'll see. I have a few that I think I could finish this year, especially if I don't start a ton of things. Um, but there's definitely more berries in my future. That is all. Um, yeah, that's it. I hope everyone's having a good start of August. I probably will not be back in two weeks because that's right when my mother-in-law will be here. So it might be three weeks. It might be after school starts. We'll, you'll see me when you see me. Um, yeah. Hope you guys are having a good day and I will talk to you later. Bye.